automatic usage decision. Usage decision will be done automatically for any material. And the stock posting uh, will be done to the unrestricted uh, where no defect recording is there. What all prerequisites are in the configuration, uh, we normally define the time interval and in either use SPRO or we can use QCC0 enter. Basic settings, maintain setting at the plant level for whatever plant I am working on. Let's see, double one, double zero. This inspection lot completion. See this automatic usage decision option is there. It's waiting time and the delay time for the skip lots. So even that can be maintained. Must be expired. Uh, after the inspection lot is created and before the automatic usage decision can be made. Once the uh, result recording has been done and that delay period has been over, then the usage decision should be done automatically for all the uh, OK lots. Just keeping it uh, blank only at present in the MIC. What QS 23 and I'm using PH as my MIC. While doing result recording, the status of the MIC should be 5 if it is a required characteristics. So done only for the OK lots and so the result recording should have been done for that particular MIC. So in the material master also we need to maintain some information like my material is say 1020, plant is 1100 in the inspection setup. Inspection type you are trying uh, to do the automatic usage decision. Then for that particular inspection type, here you need to check this checkbox automatic usage decision. By default it is not to uh, activate both the automatic usage decision and the skipped allowed option. If you are trying it for 01 or 04, if dynamic modification rule is uh, used, then uh, for the skipped lots also, the automatic usage decision should be done and the stock posting uh, will be done for that. For 89 at present, you can see it is not active. And for 01, it is active. Let's activate uh, automatic usage decision for 89 so that we can try on 89. The correct appropriate uh, UD codes need to be maintained for inspection type stock posting proposal. Let me show you that also in the configuration. QCC0 so enter the inspection lot completion maintain the catalogs and the usage decision for the three usage decision if the plant is double one double zero enter if i go for the selected sets uh, specify the posting proposals like uh, if it is say a1 then where you want the stock to be posted, like uh, to the unrestricted end. Any follow-up action uh, you want to trigger once the UD has been done automatically, that can be done here in this part. Uh, let's try the flow in the system, how it works. Create the lot manually. Q is 0, 01, enter, and it is 89 for the manual inspection lot. Bring my batch and let me keep the quantity, suppose 7. The sample size is 3. Let's save it. Let me create 2 3 lots so that you can see uh, clearly. Okay, I'm keeping it 8 and save it. Keeping my quantity as 10, then click on save. In QA32 report, 
will just execute it. So these are the three lots which are just now created, 7, 8, and 10 quantity, and all are in release state. So we can do the result recording for all. So accept it. Okay. Press enter. Status is now 5 and save it. And for this second lot, I am uh, doing the result recording. So out of the specification, so overall valuation has been rejected. So now the second lot is rejected. Save. And for the third, I am again accepting it. And then save it. Just refresh it. So all are inspected. My first and third lots are okay. Lot. This lot uh, 54 is rejected. Go to QA10. Enter. Enter my plants. Double one, double zero. And for which inspection type I want to use. So if it is say 89, the UD code to be used when we are doing the usage decision. You can enter my plant, suppose double one, double zero. Now you can select the UD codes which are available. Suppose for automatic UD, I am selecting, say this, rest all information is populated automatically, executed. If I click on see details, in two lots, so 54 I have rejected and it is showing 53 and 55 as uh, okay lots go back refresh it so you can see that this is the one which is rejected 54 let me show you the details of this overall valuation is rejected if it is rejected then it automatic ud will not be done for that but for all other remaining lots the ud will be done i think Auto UD was not active there at that time, and that's why it's not done. Normally, we create a background job. So, to create a background job, uh, a variant is created, and to create a variant, you can select whatever is your transaction CQA 10 or automatic UD. Here, you can specify your plan. And for which inspection type, whether it is say 01 or 04, for 89, I am creating specifying my plant, uh, maintain the UD codes to be used. If I select say auto and rest all information is coming, so click on save in the variant name. Uh, I can specify it with the forward slash so that the UD can add the description. Click on save. Variant with the name auto UD has been saved. If I select save, say this so information will be populated based on that variant. Uh, they can create a background job for this variant and uh, that can be run. Lots which are rejected. For that, we have to do the UD manually. Informing us that the characteristics were rejected. Specify our UD code manually. Click on save and keeping it unrestricted. Let's create one lot manually. QA01, batch is 123. And quantity is supposed 10. Sample size is calculated, save it, go to QA32 report and execute it. So this is the lot which is created at me and it is in release state. So if I directly do the UD instead of going for the result recording, informing us that you haven't completed all the characteristics. Still, if I am trying to do the usage decision, then it will inform you uh, that you haven't um, completed the result recording part. Possible that we can skip the result recording and we can directly uh, do the usage decision for the inspection lot that will be called a post UD. Continue with your UD. 
So if I select say yes, then it will allow me to do the usage decision and then save it. If I refresh it, then it's done. And for collective UD, create few lots first, QV01. I'm creating a manual inspection lot. 00089 it's a batch managed material i'm just creating two three lots so that we can collectively uh, do the ud for those lots so uh, i have created three lots let me show you uh, if we go for qa32 report so these are the three lots which are created and uh, all are in release state so we can do the result recording for all of these so I'm just entering the results. Our status is five. Save it for the second one. Six. Press enter. Save for third lot. I'm entering my results. Say seven, and then save it. So if now if I refresh it, all are inspected, and uh, I want to do the collective UD for all these lots. So all are in accepted. Uh, lots so for collective UD it is QA16 so enter here you need to tell the plant so my plant is 1100 in the UD code decision part here again you need to tell the UD codes to be used so I am selecting say 1100 and the appropriate uh, UD selected sets and the UD codes can be selected click on execute see these are the three lots uh, 957 58 59 with the material this and all are inspected and uh, accepted range are there so select all and click on UD in background so if I click on this here in the bottom you can see usage decision for the lots has been saved if I go for QA32 report and now if I refresh it, the lot's uh, usage decision has been done. You have seen that it's gone. Even in QA16, which is a collective usage decision, for if I refresh it, now there is no more lot remaining.